Good afternoon and welcome to our demo. I'm Buddy Crapio, Systems Engineer, joined by Alindo Eger, who handles our design and build. Here at LabelPack, we manufacture labeling equipment. We also provide turnkey solutions to automate your downline packaging process. That includes designing and building customized labeling systems, labels, label supplies, case erectors, case sealers, and conveyance. We also assist with your data collection needs. We are a longtime partner of Zebra, Sato, and Datamax. And we have certified technicians on site to enable us to offer service and maintenance programs after the sale. Today we are demonstrating the 130 tabletop wrap label applicator wrapping a label around cylindrical products. It is a semi-automated machine. The user needs to place the product for labeling and the machine does the rest. The system gives you efficient and repeatable placement. It is made for small to medium runs. And the 130 is cost effective. There's no compressed air required and it's 120 volts. It's portable and has a small footprint. The markets served are very diverse. The food and beverage industry, cannabis, CBD, chemicals, cosmetics, pharmaceutical, batteries, and even up to a five gallon pail. What makes our machine stand out is the durability. It's made to last. Alindo is going to speak about the details. Thanks, Buddy. Uh, our 135, as Buddy said, is a tabletop version. Um, we do several modifications from our tabletops. This particular is a cylindrical product labeling applicator, uh, just a simple motion from the operator to engage and, and put the product in place. When we build all of our products, we start with a side frame and build to that side frame so that we have one path that's dictated by that side frame. And then cantilever using bearings instead of bushings um, for our supply rolls, our dancers, our take up rolls. And on our directional rollers, we'll use the bearings right in the roller itself so that we don't have to cantilever everything off of the side frame. We can use dancers, et cetera, as needed. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Our tabletops all are anchored to a half inch base plate so that the vertical plate can be held true, holding the path true so that you minimize any kind of problems with your label jams or anything of that nature. It starts with the supply roll, three inch core up to a six inch adapter. Uh, OD on the supply is 12 inch. We can do this as a 16 inch OD if necessary. Through a dancer, this dancer manages the back tension on the supply roll and minimizes any overturn. There's also a secondary back tension control on the dispensing platform. From there, it goes around the peel plate, through a uh, media sensor, back through the drive box, and then in, into the, the take up. We mount the fixture on the front and keep that simple so that we can change this over. We can set this fixture up uh, to do a larger product or a smaller product. The standard product is an inch and a half to about four inches in the standard fixture. We can modify this fixture and go up to a 55, or a, pardon me, a five gallon pail, uh, or down to something about the size of a tube of chapstick. We've, uh, we've even squeezed this down to syringes to be able to put labels around syringes. We can add imprinting to this, um, date coding, uh, lot code, whatever you might need for that information. We can also add pneumatics to this so that the operator doesn't have to manually engage the drive roll. The pneumatics would just trigger off a foot switch or a uh, off the touch or something of that nature. Pneumatically come down, initiate the rotation rather than the operator having to do that by hand. Uh, we do modify this for other types of fixtures. We would take this wrap section off and replace it with a cylinder so that we can make this a tamp applicator. Uh, we do drawer type fixtures so that you can insert your product or remove your product. Um, the the uh, variety on this is, is fairly flexible and extensive. We'll show you uh, a quick demo of the machine. The Model 130 is a semi-automatic tabletop 
standalone applicator that will consistently, repeatedly put the label in the same position. Operator simply puts a label in or a product into the tray, butts it against the stop, pulls down and holds down firmly until the product is done with a rotation. It will only feed one label the way it's programmed right now. It has two labels capable in the software with a few changes in the setup. And it's easy enough for an operator to learn in just a few minutes time. At LabelPack, all of our controls are made in-house. We have an onboard PLC, which can be tailored to whatever preferences you have at your facility, whether it be Allen Bradley, Panasonic, or Automation Direct. Uh, we incorporate a user-friendly touchscreen HMI, which comes in a variety of sizes. Uh, it's mounted directly to the front panel, uh, so you can easily make changes. The PLC gives us versatility. Each of the timers is easily changed, changed from the HMI. You, we can provide recipes, making it easier for the user on changeover. And we can add additional options such as parts loaded, uh, counter, and label front and back. The program that runs the system is very simple. Pulling down the wrap assembly engages the ball switch. The label feeds and wraps at the same rate, ensuring a smooth finish. And the, the timers adjust the label length. Um, with that, we'd like to take some questions. Please, Kate. How long is the changeover, Alinda? Uh, changeover for a new product is simply a matter of adjusting the height of the product to the peel plate. Um, moments uh, to do that. Changing the supplies. If you just splice in the new roll, you can pull it through, um, have it set back up and running in yeah, three to five minutes, you can do a complete changeover. And what is the max label length? Max label length? Max label length, um, five gallon peel, we've run, I believe about a 14 inch rotation on that. Uh, we haven't had to try to do anything bigger than that. Um, what is the throughput? Throughput rate? Oh, throughput is very subjective. That's uh, between operator dexterity, the size of the label, the size of the product. Um, a simple application like this bottle, you're looking at somewhere around 20, 25 a minute uh, within reason, provided that the supplies are right next to the operator and they've got some place to set them when they pull them out. How many years would this machine be in service before overhaul? Uh, well, we have machines in the field that have been out there for 20 years now and we haven't seen most of those back, but we know they're still running. So, um, what about the one that was in a fire? Well, yeah, that one did come in for a rebuild, but it was 20 plus years in the field and the building burnt down. We had to replace the coated roller and a couple of the wired components, but it's back in the field up and running again. Uh, what are the wear items? Wear items? Wear items on this, um, the the uh, friction discs that are in the take up on this side, um, those need to be checked on an annual basis depending on the volume of or, or amount of time that you're running. Um, typically, I tell people to look at them after a month. If they don't show wear, check them at six months. If still no wear, maybe just check them annually. Um, you need to be aware that you have several coated rollers on this machine. Um, not so much wear items as targets. Um, if an operator has an accident, they shouldn't use razor blades or knives to remove the, the labels or something else that may be stuck to them because then they become a wear item.
There's nothing proprietary on this machine. Everything is available right here. We keep most of these parts on the shelf so they can ship out quickly. Uh, the electronics, uh, we do have to program before they ship for your particular machine. We do keep copies of your programs here, so as long as you're not making changes in the field, we can just load up a PLC or an HMI and ship that out. Um, normally within a couple of days you can have what you need depending on the particular products that you started with. Uh, this one is a Panasonic. We have Panasonic on the shelf. Uh, for an example, sometimes uh, some of the manufacturers, we can't keep all of them on the shelf. Some of them take a day or two to get something in here. Um, can that particular machine be converted to a TAM? Um, this one was not assembled with that in mind, so it would take a little more work. But this chassis, yes, can, is a standard chassis that we would use for a TAMP build. It's normally 15, 20 minutes to go through it the first time, let them practice a couple of times, maybe another 10 or 15 minutes, and they typically have it down pretty quickly. Can you label a tapered product? A tapered product? Uh, you can within reason. Um, with tapered products, you always have to be aware of the label. If the label is, is a crescent, then the label is going to pull against this web sideways as it's feeding. For a short feed, you'd be fine, but a longer feed, it's going to pull the track so far out of alignment that your second label isn't going to feed properly. Can you do um, a front-back label combination where the back label is smaller than the front? Front-back. Yes, you can. Uh, the front label and back label are each programmed independently in the HMI. So you would just set the placement of each of those labels independently. It, it uh, doesn't matter what those label sizes are. What's the maximum label width of a standard head? Six and a half inches is the maximum width. Um, minimum width, I would not go down below a half inch. If you need to go below a half inch, uh, check with us. We, we can do it. We just need it on a, a wider liner than what would be standard for something that narrow. What is the lead time on delivery? Lead time? Lead time varies depending on what's going on in the shop and, and what else we have. We always have one on the floor that we can uh, we can ship out provided that your product is a standard fit for the machine. Uh, if we have to make a modification to the what's on the shelf, then that can add to the lead time. Okay. Any more questions? Um, this concludes our presentation. Thank you for joining us. Um, you can contact us at 814-362-1528 and we can set up another team's meeting with you individually if you have more questions. Thank you.